what is it, George Santos? Yeah, George Santos. <laughs> yeah, and so George Santos is being followed by a, b- both, uh, obviously, a lot of press, but then some people kind of just trolling him. And you'll see here, one of them is, uh, you know, Daily Show correspondent Jordan Klepper trying to get some, oh, really? uh, trying to get some uh, answers from Santos as to what he's bringing to the circumstances today. So why are you running, man? Excuse me. Not running, George. You're not running. George, you George, are you are you are you finally bringing legitimacy to this process? Are you finally, are you finally bringing legitimacy to this process, George? Can you tell us, George? Can you tell us about your volleyball career? Just tell us why you felt it was important to show up. Have you guys got a clue? Tell us why you felt it was important to be here in person. Are you bringing legitimacy to this process finally? Are you finally? Are you finally? Are you finally? Are you Talk to me about your logic. I just Which thought logic is have like you got many you were bringing here to this? You got. I showed up. As first Excuse me. 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 Excuse Look at the grin on his face. This is yeah. exactly what he Clever. has always wanted. Clever keeps saying, tell us about your volleyball career, George. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's he's not, he wasn't invited. I, for my, get, for my, what I've seen, it seemed like Jack Posobiec and Marjorie Taylor Greene like, did something jointly. But not many other in-person representatives there to support Trump. And Santos was just like, it's my moment in the sun, baby. It's a total clown show. And of course, he's going to be there. I mean, this is like uh, this is it's like a magnet for, you know, the, the sort of the C the the, the list. Yeah. But the, but the bottom line is it is mostly C list now. That's the interesting thing about a, a second Trump administration. I just don't know if you would get as many like they had trouble finding people the first time around. The second time around, the people who are going to fill these uh, positions are going to be real, real. Lots of second like, bananas. Yeah, I'd be fat. sleazy. Like right. the, you know, I mean, I, I'm not. Don't don't misinterpret what I'm saying in terms of like the quality of the people and just like how. But th- they're going to be outwardly and obviously sleazy. We're not going to get people in there who are like. He's going to be the adult in the room. We're not going to hear that, you know, that we heard every time. Yeah, it's, like I feel like I feel like people. Yeah, I feel like the the Rex Tillersons, the um, H.R. McMasters, the um, mm-hmm. people of that ilk are will not be rushing to, to fill those positions this time around. Yeah. Um, and uh, the clown show of uh, also, we should say, the media there um, right now, people are showing how CNN and all the other um, networks are just having a, a, a shot of the door to see who cracks in and out because the courtrooms closed. <laughs> and it's like, well, here's another example of the them kind of just repeating exactly some of their issues from 2016, which is the breathless coverage of his every move. I mean, this is a big story. I get it. Do we need a static shot of the door to see uh, who's coming in and out? I don't know about that. 